Hi, this is Michael Tapes from Michael Tapes Design, and we're going to talk about some common mistakes that people might make using lens align and or focus tune. Uh, these shots are, are from a customer, and I'm not here to uh, deride the customer. This is all new stuff and difficult stuff uh, when you do it for the first time, so hopefully this video will help you avoid some uh, errors. I can see by the size of this, this is shot with a uh, Canon 7D uh, Mark II, which is a crop frame camera, 1.6 crop camera, and a 500 millimeter lens. So uh, the way you figure the distance, I can see by the size of the lens align that this is shot way too, uh, uh, the distance is too far. So the way you figure it, it's a 500 millimeter lens, so it's 8.2 feet per 100 millimeters. So basically a rough calculation is just multiply 8 feet for each 100 millimeters, so 8 times 5 is 40. So you're going to be about 40, 45 feet. Uh, you can ignore the crop factor. Uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, you can go a little longer. So if this were 50 feet, it might be okay, but it looks uh, much uh, longer than that. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. So this is uh, at one to one. And uh, so a couple of problems with this, uh, a bunch of problems. Uh, number one, I don't think that this, uh, I, I don't think that's the red dot that we're seeing uh, behind this. So I, I don't think this is properly aligned, but it's a little hard uh, for me to tell uh, because of the lighting. But um, we need to have the large focus target on there. With uh, the new focus tune and even without focus tune, the large target is just much superior to this. So uh, in this user's case, any, this is an original Mark II, totally uh, adaptable just you get the new target and the new ruler uh, the new short ruler not the long ruler uh, it's 1795 on our website and uh, that way you've got the latest and greatest that'll work as good as the latest uh, uh, mark II. so that would be number one and what you do is you position the lens align and the camera using the sighting system which is looking through the uh, the port from the back and getting the camera sighted we document that and then putting the other the new focus target on there which is larger and it just uh, allows the camera to focus better and it gives focus tune there's a grayscale it lets focus tune uh, analyze the data much more accurately okay so that's number one uh, and it's much easier to do that alignment if you have a some kind of head on here in other words you want a uh, ideally a pan tilt head uh, or a ball head but not uh, there's no way to adjust this so you have to do all the adjustment from the camera which is actually pretty hard especially with a 500 millimeter lens it's a lot easier to adjust the lens align to get the alignment right using a pan tilt head and sighting from the back than to do it from the front and moving the camera okay uh, the shadows on the ruler are a total no-no you can't have shadows lens uh, focus tune is going to look at the ruler and uh, so it can't have uh, shadows uh, the tree branches aren't a problem except for the shadows. So uh, we don't have even exposure. Look at how much brighter it is down here than it is up here. So this needs to be even exposure. Uh, you'd want this to be in, in the shade, not in sunlight. Uh, so that way in the shade you don't get, uh, you don't get glare and uh, you get a nice diffuse light and so forth. Now the other thing is if I pan, if I go through these, you're going to see two things happen. One is that the lens align moves in shot to shot. So if I leave this centered, uh, the little hand that you see, if I leave that centered right on the lens line and now go through the shots, you see that the lens align is moving in each shot. And of course, that means that the focusing of the camera is going to be in a different place in each shot, and that's going to change things. So that's number one. And in this case, it's obviously not the lens align that's moving, it's the camera moving on the tripod. So the tripod is not stable enough, or uh, it's not settling enough between shots so when you defocus you need to let it uh, stabilize again and when you defocus you need to touch it very lightly so that you don't move uh, the lens on the tripod now uh, you know hopefully the lens and camera mounted on the lens uh, mount not the camera mount you'd never want a 500 millimeter you know hanging off the camera uh, with the tripod mounted to the camera and just another mention that this tripod doesn't need to be this heavy duty tripod this tripod can be uh, a cheapo Amazon $20 pan tilt video tripod the only exception would be if it's windy uh, where it might blow over or something but as long as there's no wind you know this, the lens line is super light, so there's no need. So we see the movement is, uh, it's just, you know, way too much. It's bad for the camera, and Focus Tune can't, um, we, we internally, we align all the shots shot to shot, but not with this much variation. So that's uh, totally not good. And you can also see that the exposure 
is changing, which is to say the sun is changing, uh, but the exposure is on manual. If you're shooting outdoors, you have to be shooting an aperture priority fixed ISO, okay, so that the camera can adjust and at least the exposure will be close. And then if you're using the new focus target with the grayscale, focus tune can adjust the exposure even closer. So this, you know, that's the, the those two critical points, the fact that the lens align isn't stable within the shot and the fact that the exposure not only is all over the place, but it's also uh, getting bright enough to almost be burned out. So, uh, you know, so think about focus tune, trying to analyze this, looking at it, and you can see just by going through that this is going to be a major, major uh, problem. So uh, that's the, uh, the major uh, problems. Now, if we look at it from the focus tune perspective, uh, we can see that uh, the crosshairs are not in the center, which they need to be. But of course, this is going to change from shot to shot. So if you right click on each picture, it'll bring a different picture to be the reference picture. So we can right click and go down and you're seeing in this case that uh, these are moving. So um, you know that, that they're not stable from shot to shot. Uh, so let's just play along and say, okay, let's assume we're, we're going to go ahead with this. So we would select the lens align standard. This is not the generation three target or generation two. It's not the grayscale target that's on the lens that's on later lens aligns. Uh, it's the standard lens align. So that limits the amount of work that focus tune can do to optimize the images. So that's hurting us here. But if we were to do this, uh, and if they were good shots that didn't move and were exposed right, we would click in the upper left, bottom right corner, and then three, four, five. And the biggest mistake that people make is they click this last one, the fifth click over here below these. This has to be right on the zero line over to the left, and these have to be equidistant from the zero line over to the right. It's not important, you know, where whether it's here or here, but it's important that they're equidistant and the same. Okay, so let's assume we did an analyze and graph, clicking over here, let it go through its uh, thing. Uh, the results are going to be totally wrong. And I'll show you some other things to look for that would show you that the results are wrong. So not only will the graph uh, make no sense and not give you any kind of reading that, that uh, makes any sense, but if we come over here and uh, on the right-hand side and click on sharpest and then go to the, to the back, that's bringing you to the most back-focused image, and now use the next button to cycle through these, you'll see that they all change in brightness. That's because Focus Tune is trying to equalize them, but they're so far off that its equalization is actually hurting more than it's helping. Uh, but there's no hope for this group anyway, because as the exposure changes, it's going to change the apparent sharpness. So these are just some things uh, you can look for. And you'll notice how these are aligned. You see that uh, Focus Tune actually was able to align these pretty closely in terms of the left-right movement, you know, the movement that we saw in the beginning. So Focus Tune is doing a good job, but the trouble is that the camera is, uh, in reality, was focusing on a different spot in each, uh, in each shot and that confused the focus system. So uh, I hope that's useful to you. So we had distance, uh, outdoors you want uh, aperture priority, indoors you want manual exposure, uh, constant positioning, check for that, and uh, the large focus target and the new ruler 1795 on the website if you have a lens line that didn't come with the generation 3 target. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Michael Tapes signing out. Bye-bye.